while the version of the digital personal data protection bill that received the cabinet nod is not in the public domain it is imperative to ensure that the law does not suffer from the pitfalls that the previous draft had welcome to var india news r digital personal data protection that is dpdp bill is set to be introduced during the upcoming monsoon session of parliament for consideration and passage the draft of the bill circulated for consultation by the ministry of electronics and information technology that is neti in november 2022 was fraught with problems and was criticized both by transparency activists and those campaigning for the right to privacy first the law must not dilute the provisions of the right to information act which has empowered millions of indian citizens since its enactment in 2005 To effectively hold their governments accountable in a democracy, people need access to information, including various categories of personal data. For example, the Supreme Court has held that citizens have a right to know the names of willful defaulters and details of non-performing assets, that is NPAs, or public sector banks. Democracies routinely ensure public disclosure of voters' lists with names, addresses, and other personal data to enable public scrutiny and prevent electoral frauds. Experience of the use of the RTI Act in India has shown that if people, especially the poor and the marginalized, are to have any hope of obtaining the benefits of government schemes and welfare programs, they must have access to relevant, granular information. For instance, the public distribution system that is PDS control order recognizes the need for putting the details of ration card holders and records of ration shops in the public domain to enable public scrutiny and social audits of the PDS. In the absence of such publicly accessible personal data, it is impossible for intended beneficiaries to access their rightful entitlement of food grains. To protect people's right to privacy, the RTI Act includes an exemption clause under Section 81J. In order to invoke this section to deny personal information, at least one of the following grounds has to be proven. The information sought has no relationship to any public activity or has no relationship to any public interest or the information sought is such that it would cause unwarranted invasion of privacy and the information officer is satisfied that there is no larger public interest that justifies disclosure. The Data Protection Bill of 2022 includes a provision to amend Section 81J to expand its purview and exempt all personal information from the ambit of the RTI Act. This would be huge blow to the transparency regime in the country. Let's look into today's headlines. 25 startups being evaluated for semiconductor design subsidy scheme. Minister of State for Electronics and Information Technology Rajiv Chandrasekhar said that the ministry is currently evaluating 25 startups for availing government financial support under the semiconductor design subsidy scheme. Out of these, five startups have already awaited the incentive. The Indian government wants to establish a thriving semiconductor manufacturing hub in the country to compete with countries like Taiwan. Sony Manin to make audio devices in India. Having witnessed strong growth in the audio business in India, Sony has started discussions internally to understand the prospects of making the products in India. If approved, this would see the company expand its manufacturing engagement in the country. According to sources, the company has started exploratory work on getting audio devices made in India in line with government's push. LinkedIn working on a new tool called AI Coach. Microsoft has been incorporating AI in all its products and services including LinkedIn. The professional networking platform LinkedIn is reportedly working on an AI tool that will help users look and apply for jobs. The tool may be called LinkedIn Coach and is aimed at supporting users through the application processes, teaching them new skills and helping in networking on the platform. Netflix reworking its partnership with Microsoft. Netflix is reportedly restructuring its advertising partnership with Microsoft. The company is doing this for its lower priced ad supported subscription plan as it is cutting down ad prices considerably. Netflix plans to get more customers with its newly launched affordable plan and has selected Microsoft as its global technology and sales partner for it. Netflix's new advertising model as well as its crackdown on password sharing are seen as two major revenue drivers. Brands may lose verified status on X 
if failed to spend $1,000 per month on ads. X has mandated brands to spend at least $1,000 per month on ads, failing which they will lose their verified status. X is reportedly offering a 50% discount on all new ad bookings through July 31st. Founder Elon Musk said that a moderately high bar for a verified organization on the platform was necessary to keep scammers from creating millions of accounts. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to War India News Magazine. You can download the War India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for more news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.